Hello, spooky fam. Welcome back to another vlog. My name is Rocio, owner and artist behind Sparkling Punk. Today is setup day for Hill Country Comic Con. 2023. I'm super excited. We're currently getting snacks and coffee and all that. We stopped at Starbucks to get coffee and we're at Shipley's right now getting um, some kolaches and donuts and then we're we're gonna be on our way. Um, we have about an hour and a half drive to get to New Braunfels. Braunfels, I always mispronounce it, but yeah, we're gonna be setting up our booth today and I'm gonna try my very best to record a little time lapse of that setup for y'all so y'all can see how I set up my booth. We're here at the new Braunfels Convention Center. We're about to park and unload so we can start getting our booth ready. Here we are, we need to go up to the loading dock first and then we're gonna grab our paperwork so we could go ahead and figure out where we're gonna be this year. Just checked in and they're taking us to our booth spot, which looks like it might be the same spot. We'll see. Oh, cool. This is the booth space before and we're about to bring all of our stuff in for the after. So off to get our stuff out of the car. Um, we're in the same spot as always. <laughs> our friends do run this convention, so <laughs> it's kind of like that's our spot now. Um, but yeah, we said hello and all of that. And now we're going to go get our stuff out of the car. It's pretty much a game of Tetris from here on out. <laughs> All right, we got part of my stuff loaded up. There's still some stuff in the car, but we're gonna go up the ramp with all of my stuff. My boyfriend always helping me out. What an amazing guy. So we just got all our stuff loaded in and setup time is about to start. So let's go ahead and start this time lapse. All right, so at Hill Country Comic Con, I tend to always have the same display because it's always an eight by eight booth and I tend to always get the same spot. I bring in a six foot table. They provide a six foot table. I also then bring up my canopy, um, which is allowed. Um, they have checked it before and just told me just don't go any higher with that because it is covered. I changed it up a little bit since I started. Now I have this type of clothing rack here that has a bottom tier and a top tier. I have this really cool foldable shelf, which I absolutely love. Everything that you see display wise is pretty much from Amazon. And the question I always get is where did you get your canopy? I made it y'all. There is a vlog about that when I was making it. I need to remake it though because I have learned how to sew since then and I mean like I know how to sew like pretty damn good now. So I'm gonna completely remake it at some point. Um, I'm talking about the cloth cover because yes I fully made that myself. I also did the PVC. I, I cut it to measurement. I ended up spray painting it. It was a whole shebang. Um, the grid cubes on the second table, that changes up depending on how I'm feeling and what I'm bringing. So my food display is similar, I would say, every time because I do bring my full display, but I also bring different items depending on the time of the year. Like for example, this past year, which was 2023, I decided to bring the Halloween collection. As you can see, there's some of my Halloween stickers there. Um, because my Halloween collection doesn't do great online, so I was like, I'm gonna give people the opportunity to purchase in person. And this booth display is a closed um, window in the back. Normally, I don't sit back there, but I think for this upcoming year of 2024, which is this year now, because I'm hella late posting my shit. I will probably do my open window, but I'm probably still going to do my full blown boot display. I need to draw it out. That is one thing I highly recommend to all you artist alley people is always fully draw out your boot display as best as you possibly can and mark what kind of items you want to use. This is the final look. I'm absolutely obsessed with how it came out. I'm all about color 
presentation and I like to make my shop look like it's a little shop actually in person not just a little pop-up booth it's literally like you're coming in to shop for anybody so yeah I'm absolutely obsessed with the display the booth setup is done now I gotta take pictures do tiktoks and all of that all right we're all closed up and we're gonna go home um, and then we'll be back tomorrow. Look at this cute little fruit. Oh, she's a baby. She's scared. <laughs> I think that was a goat. Um, but yeah, super stinking cute. The little baby goat that hasn't been potty trained yet. Um, you want to walk through and check out what... I guess we're going to walk through and check out how everybody's setup's going. So this is where we weren't set up. Ooh, there's some cute lounge flies. Look at the Casper one. They have a Nightmare Before Christmas one. Mmm, that's all up my alley. Snoopy is what that is. Yeah, it's Snoopy. Look at the Nightmare Before Christmas one though. I've never seen that one. I did. Look at the Aladdin one on top. Yeah, I like the McDonald's one. That's part of the new ones. Yeah, and the cool. Coraline. So cool. Yeah, people are still setting up over here. The Mickey hands. It's Mickey and Minnie. Yeah. Yeah, still setting up. This is how it looks behind the scenes, y'all. Behind the scenes. And some tables that are still empty. This will be packed tomorrow and I'll have my boyfriend vlog that in the next vlog for y'all. Uh, wanna walk around? I have three other wagons. Look at the big, the big squish. The plague doctor. The big plague doctor. T-shirts, pops. GTFO. <laughs> Literally the best bins ever. Is that leggings last? Yeah, it was her right there. Oh, I didn't see. That's what I need, a big truck. that's it for the setup we just got to go ahead and put this in my car and then we get to go home uh, we set up in three hours which that's a little different for us we're not used to setting up in three hours and the first time we ever set up it took us six hours so this was definitely a lot less time so we just finished loading that into our car and that's it that's it for the setup day for Hill Country Comic Con. We are pooped. We literally only took three hours, like I said. Normally this used to take us six hours, and then I think last year was five or four hours, and now it only takes us three hours, especially with the new setup I did, if you saw. Um, I tried to record the best I could. My phone actually recorded a lot better, so TikTok and Instagram will probably get um, and on another angle, uh, but the lighting in there is really bad and this camera hates the lighting in there. So I do apologize, I try my very best. Editing Rocio here just to tell y'all that this was supposed to be a second video, but I decided to put them all together, so welcome back. And today I am on my way to Hill Country Comic Con day one for 2023. I am gonna be vending. Um, y'all went ahead and said that I should wear my Ren Fair witch outfit for the day because it is Sherwood Forest Fair opening weekend 
and that is the local Renaissance Fair and we love to go every single year. It is our second home. So I thought I'd, you know, dress up. I look super stinking cute. And yeah, so we're on our way right now. We just got to the convention center. We just ran into our friend. <laughs> Morning. People are still setting up, y'all. It's the day of the con and people are still setting up. That's stressful to me. I don't know how people do it, but some people just can't get off work. So it makes sense. All right. So we're going through the back, as always, into the convention center and we need to go ahead and take off the sheets from the booth um, and add a couple things because I finished some berets that my boyfriend's holding. And I look so cute. I feel cute. Is the little goat gonna be here today? <laughs> Time to take off the sheets from the booth and then I need to go ahead and put up these berets, which I finished last night. I still can't believe I did that. I'm so tired though, because I only got three and a half hours of sleep, but let's go ahead and do that. I was trying to get my boyfriend to record me in my booth, but as you can see, the lighting sucks in here still, but this is my booth with me and my cute outfit. I absolutely love it. My camera hates this convention center because it's so dark. But the doors open in 20 minutes. We just finished opening up. Taking all video and pictures. And as you can see, the camera just really hates this venue. <laughs> Having to use one of my light sticks. My friend brought me over these really cool little tea lights to put around my booth. And they, they make it look so cute. Like there's little sparks of purple around. And it just looks adorable, I'll have to show y'all. So these are the lights, you can see the purple pops right there of light. I think it looks super stinking cute in like the booth every here and there. I mainly just put them in this area, but I think it like really draws things out, it's super cute. So in part one of the video, I did promise y'all that my boyfriend would come do a little walk around for y'all after the setup was complete. And at this point, the setup is pretty much complete, so he's walking around, but I think he did a really bad job, not gonna lie. I think this is the worst job he's done recording because for some reason, I kid you not, I swear he had the camera on Zoom and um, it made it really, really bad. I keep mentioning it. I definitely need a gimbal for my camera or a stand of some sort. Um, I just bought a gimbal for my phone, woohoo! So 2024, we should have more gimbal-y type videos for TikTok and Instagram and all that. But for YouTube, I do finally have like a little tripod thing that you put the camera on, so hopefully that helps with the sturdiness. But yeah, this is the convention center, this is the vendor hall, so we're not quite at the, um, the artist alley yet, which is where I'm at. He'll end up in the artist alley up next, but the vendor hall does have quite a bit of vendors, a lot of selection uh, to choose from, a lot of toys mainly, and then they do have people that pay for like the bigger booths that are also artists, but they pay for to be in the vendor hall. I like being in the artist alley. I don't think I'd ever pay for the vendor hall specifically. Um, and then this is the cosplay area, which I do have a lot of cosplay friends. If you don't know, um, I used to be like heavily into cosplay i'm not so much in the cosplay community anymore because it's become very toxic and i just don't want to associate with that part of it but i do still love my cosplay friends even my best friend is a really awesome cosplayer this is the entrance this is the main entrance where i told y'all that they put the artist alley in the front so these are all artists and then the actors are in the other row that's why he skipped it so yeah this is kind of like the entrance and stuff i really really dig it um, this is definitely one of my go-to conventions that I do every single year and I highly recommend applying for, especially if you're starting. Adam is like, she's going to be pissed if I say something about it, don't buy it. <laughs> my boyfriend just got me this Keyblade! It's the Hercules one. He said it was the only one. They sold it to him for 50 bucks. We normally get them for like 30 bucks, but oh, it's so nice. It's so clean. I freaking love it. I'm obsessed. <laughs> So I just got told by Brian that the line is wrapped around the entire building. I know, I was here. Okay, I didn't know if you walked away. 
But yeah, the line, in. the line is wrapped around. Apparently, it's really hard to find parking already. So I'm like, cross my fingers that we do well today. I am really obsessed with how my booth looks. A couple people have came in to look, but nobody has bought anything yet. So waiting on that first transaction still. I feel like the beginning of a convention can be the most stressful because you're just standing there in front of your booth or sitting in your booth area waiting awkwardly for someone to come look at your stuff and I try to make my booth as inviting as possible so I like welcome people in and when I'm dressed up oh hell yes I'm gonna be standing out there because I'm dressed up for a reason because I look fucking cute but I also vibe with my booth but yeah it, it can be a little stressful to just like wait patiently for that first sale to come in so that, that's essentially what I'm doing at this point If you ever meet me at a convention and you're looking at one of my items, don't be surprised if I go up to you and I start talking or telling you about my item, especially if you're looking at like one of my bags, the clothing, um, pretty much everything I make is either my original art or I handmade it. Um, a lot of the items are all my original art. So like my pins, my stickers, things like that. My bag was all my original art. I did design it, but I got it manufactured. So I was pretty much explaining that to this customer. And I am very, very happy when you guys are totally okay hearing my spiel, because I do talk a lot. Some people think that I am an extrovert, but I am an omnivert, meaning I'm an introvert and an extrovert, depending on the mood, the occasion, like all of that. When I am at conventions, I do mentally prepare ahead of time to be talking to people and to have to be in my most social setting brain mindset and all that so if you think that I'm an extrovert when you meet me um, in convention setting it's because I had already mentally prepared to talk to people but trust me I can be a huge introvert and I like to stay home uh, especially like when my brother invites me to go out to party I am the most awkward person ever at a bar <laughs> But yeah, I absolutely love talking to y'all and especially when you ask for a card, you know, even if you don't buy anything, just the fact that you ask for a card, I freaking love that. It just makes me so happy. Now, I didn't think I would capture my first sale of the day, but this is it. I captured my first sale of the day. This person was interested in one of my halter tops, so I immediately started talking about the fact that I hand make them, and I love to help y'all try on the clothes, because clothes is definitely one of my favorite things ever. If you know me, I love absolutely everything about clothes, Halloween fashion, and just being able to style it and feeling like myself in my own clothing. So when they came up and grabbed a halter top, I was just like, I'm gonna let you try this on i want you to make sure that you're happy in it that your your tatas fit in there nicely and you're not worried about one slipping out you know i did make them booth friendly like pretty much that's the spiel i give them um i would pretty much let you all hear a little bit better how i'm talking in the video but um i did not have a mic attachment to my camera which later on i definitely want to have a mic attachment so you guys can hear what i'm saying but um yeah this convention center is also really loud because it echoes a lot but that's pretty much any convention center oh my gosh they were showing their partner they're like how do you think this looks and i'm just like yes or was this their friend i'm not 100 percent sure um but yeah so i absolutely love trying things on y'all um i do always say all right we're gonna get a little personal here because <laughs> i get in your personal bubble um and i know how you know people feel about that because i don't like people in my personal bubble either but this is when they were like yes i will get it and i was like okay let me get you bag and you know i started packing it up for them they were just so happy about it so 
I just, I still can't believe I captured the first sale of the day of Hill Country Comic Con 2023 and the first sale of the convention in general. And I also hope that they love this halter top and hope they're, you know, enjoying it now. So I just sold a ghost halter top from my halter top section here. Um, it was a large, it was my last large, uh, so I don't, I probably won't have that black ghost halter top for a while. Um, first halter top though of the evening, I also sold a pin earlier. Um, so yeah, there's there's some progress going on. My friends are here, I'm waiting for them to come over here so I can do a video of them. They'll get over here at some point. They know a lot of people because they go to a lot of conventions, so they're like talking to a bunch of different people. Check it out! Look at this guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take a second to correct myself. So that halter top was my second sale of the day. The first sale was a pin because I said that. So in case anybody tries to come at me in the <laughs> comments. So a little bit about Hill Country Comic Con in case anybody is wanting to apply for this convention. It does happen in New Braunfels, Texas, and that is in between Austin and San Antonio. Um, from Austin, it's about a 45 to an hour drive. Um, it has grown a lot over the years, and this year, I think it was like the biggest year, like the fire marshal literally stopped people from coming in because that's how many people wanted to come in. It's a pretty small convention, but I always recommend this convention as a good starter convention for anybody wanting to do it. Um, the owners are great. Um, the way they lay out the artist is awesome because they lay out the artist uh, near the voice actors as well as in the first room so they like make you go through the artist alley essentially to get to the vendors which i absolutely love because they're putting their artists first because the vendors regardless are going to get sales because they have you know all of that uh third party stuff that they buy from people in wholesale or they find uh, to resell so they are regardless gonna get sales but yeah as an artist I absolutely love doing this one my friends own it and they are the best and you get an 8 by 8 booth and the crowd is fairly busy but it comes in waves as well so it's super nice and chill Alright, so my friend Silly Thing made me some brownies, y'all. We're gonna try a piece. My references are nice and fudgy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Thank you, Silly Thing. <laughs> what the? Wait. I've sold quite a bit. Um, I'm super happy about it. And 
Yeah. It's been busy, like, off and on. The fire marshal, I guess, changed, like, the capacity limit at the last minute. So they were having some issues bringing some people in, but it's been pretty good so far. I sold quite a bit, and people are just appreciating my artwork. My feet are killing me, though, so I'm sitting down for a second, and my back is killing me, too. It's been killing me for a while, so I know it's not because I'm standing, but I'm definitely ready to go lay in bed. So I'm finally getting to walk around. Ooh, look at that Beetlejuice print. Why not? All right, should we start at the beginning? Or should sure. we start here? Start here and then go around? Look at all these. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. 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 Tomorrow. He's run out of his game time. So the con's pretty slow. There's about 30 minutes left for day one. I just did some shopping. So I want to go get a bag from a vendor. Like this is so beautifully done. I bought a bag from her last year and it was an it bag. And she's like continued to improve her work. I think I did a haul on my personal YouTube, the well, personal slash lifestyle YouTube. But um, I got an it bag and you know, she changed like the the different clasps. Like she, she upgraded a lot and even added the zipper pocket in the front too, which I'm just like, oh, she added her, her little tag with her business name on it. And I love seeing artists grow and seeing like the change that, you know, from the beginning when they started to now, like it's, it's crazy. You know, it's funny because people are like, oh my gosh, you know, sometimes you're scared that someone might not buy from you if they buy something that might have been meh quality, right? But they come and buy from you again. And that's what I see is because as artists, we're constantly always improving. So I literally did tell her, I was like, I see like so much improvement and like, I love it. She's like, yeah, you know, I, I started improving this and this and this. And I was like, I love it. And the print is just beautiful. So I'm really excited to, um, to use this bag because it's like the perfect size for me. But yeah, I did sell quite a bit. I sold two Ida bags. Um, I also sold two mugs. Well, not mugs, but cups. And I've been I've been doing good. I exceeded my goal for the day, which is nice. So halter, a skirt. I did sell a couple halters, a skirt. I think I sold two skirts. One two or two halters. skirts. Two halters, yeah. So it's been good. It's been good, y'all. Oh yes, two berets, no, three berets. Oh yeah, um, three on the table. Yep, so it's been good. All right, what do you got for me? Hey. Let's see. Well, I, I, we weren't sure if you were interested in this one or the, the one I sent you the photo of. So I don't know if it was that one, but I also really liked that one. I think I was yeah. like having trouble choosing. Uh -huh. Can I see the one that you sent me? Yeah. This is my friend Galactic Fish Productions, by the way, y'all. <laughs> this is Booth. I get so many shirts from him. <laughs> They're good shirts. So the con's slow, so I went to go to my friend Galactic, Galactic Fish Productions booth, as y'all saw. I got this shirt from him. And it literally says, be cool, she's here. <laughs> and I freaking love that. And then I ended up getting this one as well, which is the Transylvania Tufts. I freaking love his art style. It's so freaking cool. It's like comic book mixed with like, I don't know, just, it's freaking badass, but y'all should definitely check him out. Um, but yeah, there's like not that long left on the con and sales are literally dead. Like nobody is really, 
here anymore. People are mainly just getting signatures. It's just like vendors pretty much shopping now. But yeah, that's pretty much the update. I'm honestly pretty ready to go home. I'm really tired and my back is killing me. But the support has been awesome today. I'm really happy with the results. Hello, my spooky family. Welcome to the two of Hill Country Comic Con. And I'm super excited. We're currently getting some food, Starbucks and you know, all of that. And then we'll be on our way and on the road. Yesterday was great. It was a very busy, busy day. Um, but yeah, we're, we did really well yesterday. It was a really good day when it came to, you know, my bags. I did sell two of my bags, which is great. I sold quite a bit. I exceeded my goal for the day and hopefully today I can exceed my goal. If not, at least just meet it. Um, but yeah, I'm glad to be in comfy clothes today as well. So is he. Um, we were both in rent fair clothes, so we were over it just because We've never worn run for clothes for like over 10 hours. It's normally only two or three hours. So we were kind of tired by the end of it, but it was really cool. We got a lot of compliments and pictures and all of that, but I'm ready for day two. And I love seeing y'all, but it is a very exhausting process. Not gonna lie. Um, if you're a vendor yourself or you're planning on being one at some point, you'll understand it's like a 14 hour day. So it can, it can get a little exhausting, but I'm ready. We're here for day two. We just got here about to go in the convention center again. I am so tired. Like, we slept a lot more today, but I kind of want to go back to bed. I'm tired. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. Sleepy, still. <laughs> uh, there's my booth <laughs> so we just took off all the sheets from my booth turned on all the lights um, and then my friend Galactic Fish Productions came by my table and um, he said he was going to give me a free shirt because I support him a lot I think I own like now eight or ten of his shirts um, and he brought me such a cool shirt that I want to show y'all. I will be doing a haul of everything that I bought um, on my personal slash lifestyle YouTube. I don't know if I'll post it on here. Maybe, maybe I probably will. Um, but I want to show y'all because he's like, I totally forgot I had this shirt. And I was like, I love it. I was like, the green one. <laughs> Let me show you. Look how cute this shirt is. Like, I am absolutely obsessed. And I'm just, I love that color green. Like, I use it in my work. Like, love it. Hello. So the vendor floor just opened uh, for VIPs. It's 9.30 now um, in the morning. <laughs> and uh, that's for 30 minutes. And then at 10 o'clock is when the floor opens up to everybody. Um, I finally have my fanny pack on. I got my little scan gun on, which by the way, I don't know if I've talked about this, but this scan gun has been saving my life. I put barcodes on the back and then like I just search the barcode on my Square app and then I could just like easily put the item in my cart. It's been amazing. If you want me to talk about this in a video, definitely let me know. Um, maybe I should do a video, but I have talked about it on my TikTok, but yeah. So I don't know about conventions near all of y'all, but here in Texas, Sundays tend to be a little slower. So the majority of the convention, I kind of just get to chill. Um, if someone comes up to my booth, then we get to talk and, you know, do a little bit of a sale sometimes. Uh, I believe that person just bought a pin, which was nice. Um, I didn't really get as many sales as I normally do uh, at this convention, but it's all right. You know, times were tough in 2023 and they still continue to be in 2024. So that's just kind of how it is. 
and it, that's how it was that's why you see me sitting like a lot of the time and as you can see i'm sitting towards the front i bought these little like camping pop-up stools that are freaking great for conventions so if you're a convention person highly recommend buying them they have them on amazon they also sell them like packs of two it's great for me and my partner if we ever need to sit down real quick and then if we need to move it then we just pop it back into its sealed little thing and put it underneath the table and it's out of the way so it is 12.18. Sales are really slow right now. I only made $55 so far, um, which makes me a little nervous. Uh, but I did make back my booth yesterday, which is great. And I made a little more than what I expected yesterday. I exceeded my goal yesterday. But yeah, today's, today's been pretty slow. Um, let me update y'all on what I've sold though, because my table is starting to look a little empty. Oh, and also someone came by, a security guy, and said that he wanted to get a cup for his girlfriend so to, to set it aside for him, and he will 100% buy it. So I set aside one of my cups. I did sell my B-grade cup, and I sold uh, one of my other cups as well. So cups, I originally had three. Now they're gone. Berets, I had three tombstones on the table. I put one of them up here, and then I have another one here. I sold two of those. And then I also sold the... Um, the Frankenhearts one. So I have one of each beret left. I sold two mouse pads, so I have these left, and then I have this one. Uh, I have sold quite a bit of B grades, and I've restocked since then. Um, someone told me they might come back for these earrings. Uh, bows, I have not sold any hair bows. Um, stickers have been pretty good, and I have sold two bags and some halters, so that's the update. So it is currently, I think my watch died, um, 1.36 p.m. Uh, the con's slowly picking up. I did get a couple more sales. I sold another halter top, um, and I even got invited to like a market thing in Austin, so uh, we'll see how it goes or towards Austin. Um, so that'll be cool. They're going to email me at some point so I can get more information about that. So since we're getting towards the end of the video, I would like y'all to know kind of a little bit more about the event. This year, uh, even though it was like full jam-packed, uh, there was a lot of looky-loos and not a lot of spenders, but I honestly think it's because of how expensive it is to live right now. Um, but also, they did bring like really big voice actors this past year in 2023, so a lot of, you know, people save their money for the voice actors because uh, big voice actors normally are a little more expensive, so that was another thing to consider uh we aren't 100 percent sure why sales aren't as much as they were the previous years but those are just kind of some of my assumptions and some of the things that i talked about the vendors with we did let the owners of the convention know this as well because we love giving them feedback and without feedback well they can't improve on things right um, but there are some things that they have, of course, going to avoid if it is due to economy. Um, that's something that they can't avoid. Uh, you see that girl with the little witch outfit? Oh my gosh, she was so stinking cute with her little candy corn witch hat and everything. I absolutely loved her aesthetic and she was so excited to come to my booth. Sorry, I absolutely love re-watching these from time lapse videos because I get to see everybody that like passed by or like came into my booth or just like the random shit I tend to, to do when I'm just walking around. Um, I just, yeah, it cracks me up. But um, there was a lot of kids at this convention. This one is a very kid-friendly convention, just so y'all know, in case you sell saucy stuff. So that's another little update for y'all. So um, if you have things that aren't really kid-friendly or mainly specifically sell NSFW stuff, that's kind of a heads up for you. There would be a possibility that you wouldn't be accepted to the convention because your items do have to be kid-friendly. Um, they do also own uh, two other conventions. They own Greater Austin Comic Con. Greater Austin Comic Con is a little more geared towards adults, but still is very... Um, kid friendly but not as kid friendly i would say as hill country comic con it is definitely more geared towards like teens and adults i would say um but still uh the owners of this convention don't really like to do anything nsfw or too risque so that's a little heads up for y'all they are great people though and i absolutely love talking to them i think i met them through like a facebook group that i was in because i was a cosplayer and one of the uh owners reached out to me but um Greater Austin is another one that I highly recommend applying for that's theirs and they also have Giganticon which is in Killeen, Texas which I believe I did end up posting a vlog for. I already 
think I mentioned this, but I will not be doing that one again, mainly because of the area that it's in. Um, it's in like the heart of like one of the biggest Bible belts in Texas and it was just a no for my brand. So I just got told that I need to go see my really good friend Silly Thing. I don't know why, but I need to go see her. So I'm going right now to go see her. I don't know, I don't know why. Let's go see. Where is she? I got told I had to come see you by Nathan. Say hi to the vlog. Huh? <laughs> this is my friend Silly Thing. She made that. <laughs> Isn't she cute? She's so cute. I love her so much. But um, yeah, that's silly thing. Y'all should check her out on YouTube and on Instagram. She's freaking phenomenal and made that entire dress herself. I literally told her that she needs to teach me how to make a dress like that because I want to make my own wedding dress so it's like spooky. So yeah, she's so cute. We are officially tearing down my booth because the convention is officially over. <laughs> All packed up. Tetris is finished. <laughs> now ready to go home finally. Yeah, this is my spot for the hour and a half drive home. <laughs> So that is the end of the show. Uh, today I didn't do that great. Um, I didn't even get to my goal for the convention, unfortunately. So, oh well. I know the economy is very bad right now. So, it's whatever, you know, that's unfortunate. I've never been made solo on a convention before though. This is the first time every year I've done this convention. I've done really well. Um, so hopefully next year, you know, the economy is better and things go better. Um, but we packed up and we're driving home back to Austin. So yeah, thanks so much for watching y'all. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see y'all next time. Bye y'all!